All right, what is up, you beautiful people? And welcome back to the Alpha Synergy Brawl. We're playing some Borzoon today. Let's get right to it. We're joined here by Kaz, playing some Nova. Kaz was joking to me in the lobby how uh, I was saying, uh, I think Kaz normally just randoms the commander, but uh, we sort of like, sort of planned it so that uh, we would have Nova for the ground, and I'm gonna go do some invisible uh, Void Ray action on on uh, Borzoon, so. We were just trying to like uh, set it up so that uh you know we got that synergy. So speaking of synergy, that's one of the modifiers. Uh, so your entire team spawns together, and everything is super expensive. Um, well not super, like fifty percent more expensive. Looks like we have an Alarak here. So I think a few Corsairs and Void Rays. Oh my God, Archons are so expensive. They're actually not too bad though. Like they're pretty good from uh, what I've experienced. Um, First hand as a uh, on and horn are getting everything confused and stolen. Uh, okay, Goliath spam so far. We have a Dahaka as well. So yeah, I'm gonna, put a, I'm gonna put a thumbs up. That's that's the wrong. Oh my god, is that a is that a Hydralisk? What are those? Uh, so uh, the reason I'm saying what are those is because we also have Unstoppable. So every time your unit kills something, as you can see, Kaz's gnome here gets a two percent bonus max HP. Permanently, like forever. Uh, we also have Alpha Timeline, so uh, Tychus is dead, and so is Manx, so you can't pick him. Um, that's that's it. All there is to it. And uh, I'm gonna get my first Invisible Void Ray. There we go. Put that down over here. And then I'll just have one of them out here because I want to get my gas going. Put them out. Uh, and then get that Prismatic Range. And I'll get my gas going. Uh, yeah. And then last modifier is Bountiful, which is why I want to get my gas going. Bountiful makes it so. I'll the um, refineries give you double income. So yeah, you want to definitely capitalize on that. So let's see. Got a little Goliath out here. Okay. A little Void Raid doing some little baby damage here. Let's go. Okay, it's got a kill. It's got a second kill. Okay, nice. So it looks like Void Raids get... Let's see, 4, 6, 10, 5 HP every time they kill something. They have 250. Oh, okay, 250, yeah, so it's like... The Void Ray has the same distribution of health as Nova. Nova has 250 health as well. So it's like plus 2, plus 3, okay. 2 health, 3 shields. 2 health, 3 shields, okay. Oh, oh, there's an enemy Phoenix. Uh huh. So I probably should sp split up my Void Rays. There we go. Split up my Void Rays a little bit. Oh. Oh. That boy was doing pretty good. Uh, so let's see. Oh, our Dahaka's going host, so the hosts don't actually feed. Um, and it's a great way to spam units, so I'll, I'm gonna have a look at that. To be honest, though, I feel like Stepman is a. Actually, no, Stepman's Hydras are actually not too bad. If uh, they get their shots off. So what I need to do is make sure I have a Corsair. And the Corsair is just going to make everything run forward. <clears throat> their Disruption Web and their Stealth Drive. And that'll just make everything super painful, I think. Uh, there we go. Got that extended range here. Uh huh. Yeah, like the Hydralis are going to tear my Void Rays apart here. Uh, as Hydralis do. Uh, but if they can't see me... There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. I think the course is a little too far forward. I don't know. By the way, guys, if you guys are new here to my channel, and you guys enjoy the rest of my content, if you should have watched this video until the end, uh, to see, uh, well, where our build's gonna go. Well, I mean, or just to see how big our blood rays get, actually, because you already know where the build's going. Uh, and yeah, if you guys, uh, are not yet sub, be sure to drop a sub, because we're gonna have our live stream special sometime next weekend, soon TM. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Okay. Get my blood rays here, just beam everything down. They're like slowly and surely cutting through the hydralisk, yeah. Slowly and surely. So there we go. That there, almost press black hole, which is X. Oh my god, do you guys remember that one? Doing like a 1v3 with Borazun or something, and then like black hole. 
on my staging area. Disaster. I think I should just black hole now. Because, like, why not? You know? Why not? Get that black hole going. Pop everything here. I'm, my void rays are being detected. It feels 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 bad. Oh. Full power. Uh, probably do it later. Yes, that makes sense. Two fifty. Two fifty. I don't know. Okay, we got a we got a mojo here. Why did the void rays aggro not mojo? I guess the Hydralis can shoot it, so I guess that makes sense. Lamau. <laughs> Mojo just sort of deletes it instantly. Uh, Arbiter Phoenix here. Uh... Okay, let's see. You have not enough minerals. Time to man did that guy come out invisible? Yeah, he did come out invisible. There we go. I don't know. Phoenix is actually not too bad this week without Tychus and Manx in the in the picture. I'll be honest. Tychus and Manx just make it super tough for uh, Phoenix. Uh, let's see. So Gary's going to go down here. That's a lot of scouts. I think I might consider getting some Dark Archons, I think. Because their confusion is pretty strong. Uh... Yeah, cause we're getting locked down here. Dark Archons also do. I don't. Actually, no, they don't do bonus to biological. That's only like the Arcanus Archons. The regular Archons. The Daylam Archons. Let's go. Can I put a Dark Archon maybe like right here? Put that thing down. I'm gonna give it the uh, Arcus Crystal. Give it Mind Control. And then just let it do some silly things. Let's see. Alright, because the confusion is like an AoE. Oh yeah. I'm gonna drop it there. How long does it last? Two seconds, attack each other, take control of Vina for eight seconds. It's pretty good actually. Uh okay, we just stasis lock that. Um I don't know, because I feel like the confusion is not too bad. Um Oh Jesus, Stasis Lock though. Arbiter Phoenix's Stasis Lock is actually pretty nuts. Cause they all, also Arbiter Phoenix gets more more energy access every time he kills something. Um, so there's that as well. So Phoenix is actually really good. Like Phoenix's one limiter is that he doesn't have enough energy, and he doesn't regenerate it either. Uh, I should probably also get more Archons. I'll be honest. I feel like that's one Archon here with the confusion has already been helping a little bit. And it's just it's not obvious. But like, it's been doing something. Um, let's see. Oh, Stepman lurkers, Stepman lurkers, man. Oh, we mind control that unit. So okay, 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 okay. Oh, it sounds like Void Rays are staying alive, doing damage. Sounds like. Let's see, 17 kills. I feel, like, I feel like, yeah, most of my boy don't actually have any kills, though. Uh, wait, how does he have that much range? Oh my god, scouts with 7 range, that's illegal! Alarak boosting the range on his, uh, on his team. Okay. Okay. Void Ray's burning a hole through all those units here. Excellent, I can just sort of black hole the next wave, so like, they don't do anything to us. Okay. Look at that! It's a Void Ray party! Uh oh. There we go. Sounds like a plan. Put another one of these guys down, put another one of these guys down. Boom, boom. Boom. Burn through Polari in there. Burn through Super Gary there. Nice. Oh man, those Void Rays are absolutely murdering Phoenix, like holy. Some real DPS coming out here. Okay. 
I like it. Nine range Void Rays. Burn through the Overseer, burn through the Gary. Burn through Polarian, please. Turns out having Black Hole like so often is pretty good. I'm just going for a fourth gas here because I can. Um, Ascendance coming out? That's pretty desperate. Um, okay. Someone just subscribed. Hello. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Those Wrathbalkers are actually getting distracted super hard by those Locusts. Alarak here dropping a fat push. Uh, not too many ground units though, so my Corsairs are not really that effective. Um, Archon hasn't killed anybody. Does that mean it's useless? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't know, I only have one though, you know, so I can't really judge a unit on its use usefulness. If I only have one of them. Um, but yeah. I know the Void Rays are definitely great. Uh, we're not great, but like, you know. Oh, jeez. They're doing pretty good. Honestly, like, the, the stealth mode on Phoenix is probably like the best thing that he's got going here. See, why can't Protoss players build Arbiters? You know? Arbiter tech was actually like insane and makes sense. You know, you just hide your entire fleet with a bunch of Arbiters uh, and then you attack with your invisible laser beams and the Terrans are like, huh? There it is. There it is. You know, that's the Protoss air that we deserve, that we need. Let's get some more armor upgrades here. Um, stole that Wrathwalker here. Oh yeah, get that mind control on the Wrathwalker. Alarak charging out here. Okay. The thing is, stealing the Wrathwalker actually lets me keep it for later so that I can harvest it for parts. Oh. And by parts, I mean like just sort of like, you know, take it for so that my, uh, my, my unit, my allied units can use it again to uh, get bonus HP. When the unit is all isolated and easy to pick off. I need to yeet Alarak quickly to give your voids a chance or more goals to shut down. Raiders Here, you target ground first though. Hmm. I think I got the air. I think I got the air. I think I got the air. I can do it. Like if we get rid of Alarak, then like uh we'll maybe just eat Alarak. Yeah. Like, cause I think if, if, once Alarak's out of the way, yeah, basically everything else gets out of the way really fast. Like, look at how fast the Void Rays just burn through basically everything here. So yeah, the Void Rays are pretty good, pretty good against the armored units there. Um, but yeah, Doc is doing a great job with the stall and everything. And then I'm just gonna put everything into a nice grouped up location. The Black Hole is so OP. Uh. Not as OP as like Karax Beam, but like it's pretty good. Um, also, I have a lot of money. Um, should probably spend some of it. Uh, uh oh, I have a Void Ray that's not stealthed. Maybe I should just sell it off here. I got some. Maybe I'll get like a a few Corsairs just for their uh, disruption ability. Not really for anything else. Uh. Some shadow guards, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so as long as Alarak goes down, everything else is a, is a lie. And just like tear through everything here. Like, look at that. Uh -huh. Okay. Correct decision. Yes, sir. Yeah, because without Alarak in the way, like, my Void Rays can just kill basically everything else that's not Alarak. Because Alarak doesn't take bonus damage uh, from my Void Rays, so it makes him a pain to deal with. Uh, okay. We just got locked down there, but that's okay. Yeah. 
Ever since they nerfed Void Rays, they're no longer good against everything, you know? <laughs> Back in the day when they were, though. Holy. Like, look at those voids go. Holy. The thing is, like, basically everything is considered armored, too. Like, most things here are armored. I think. The only things that aren't armored, like, are the Hydralisk. I think. And then, like, that's it. Raiders. Like, yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Ooh, uh-oh. Task Manager. Uh-oh. Big lag. There we go. We're back. Okay. And we're back. Okay. We're gonna get some more upgrades here. Get some more armor upgrades. Keep me healthy. So, although we're getting some pushback because we're right on top of their Nexus. Maybe I could use another Archon. Like another Dark Archon. Like a few more Dark Archons. Okay. Corsairs are making things walk forward. Oh, man. Like, the next black hole would, like, just be ruinous. Uh, then our invisible void right here. One, two... This guy has 36 kills? What a big chad. The other void rays don't really even have that many kills. Them out. I think in Vorazun it's less about stacking up kills, it's more about just getting... Um... Just, just killing the, the wave. Just killing the wave, really. It's a little bit different from how everyone else plays this week, where everyone else is like, I'm gonna assemble the biggest boy. And Borzun's just like, eh, well, you know, I can settle for winning the game. Uh, <laughs> right, let's put this down over here. How are the Archons doing? Absolutely terrible, they, they've gotten no kills. Well, they're here for the utility, so, you know. Um, I don't even know if they are offering as much utility. Um, I like to think they're offering utility. Okay, black hole in 20 seconds. So if it's right on top of their base, that's like a GG. I'm basically. Okay. Oh, those mecha corruptors are starting to uh, get to me, I think. Uh, I don't know. Raiders roll. Pris Prismatic core online. Might need to uh, put down some. Okay, so black hole's ready. Black hole is ready. And then, so they're gonna come forward. Okay, Alarak has a mothership though. Holy. Hmm. Air is starting to get out of hand. It's happening. Excellent Daniel Jackson. <laughs> oh. There we go. Let's melt our way down here. Uh, I think the Mecha Corruptors. I think the Mecha Corruptor AoE is actually like a little bit of too. I think I think it's I think it's the AoE. Like the Mecha, Mecha Corruptor AoE is a bit nuts. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just totally wrong here. I don't know, I pro I'll probably also stealth the rest of my board race here. Stealth, stealth. Um, maybe I can put like a Corsair back here. And a Corsair back here. And then another one of these guys down here. Oh wait, actually no, I'd probably get an Archon. Ah, okay. Probably just get an Archon. I don't know. I feel like the Archons would be like one or two Archons just here and there. Mind control. Really just like meme around. Uh, okay, that one missile just went right into my face basically. Did you see that? Oh my god. Uh, Super Gary is a little thick, but it uh, doesn't seem to matter. And all the beams are focused on him. Drop a scan here. What's Not the sure what I'm gonna get next. Maybe I'll split up my archons a little bit so they don't like confuse the same area. Got the confusion over there. 
Uh -huh. Put down our void ring. Rearrange it here. Got to go back to empty ground? Okay. Uh oh, there's an ultralist. Well, not anymore. I think the mothership might be problematic though. These motherships are, uh. pretty thick. When you eat one of them, we got a Tyrannosaur here. I got another black hole. Oh, wait, we got some damage on the thing. Does anyone have anything that has AoE? Sounds like a plan. I think the Hawk has AoE. Um, if you have AoE, I can foil it. I can foil it. I think we have some AoE here. I can just foil it. Um, let's see. I'm gonna get another Archon over here. I feel like the Archons might be doing a little bit more than they let on to be. Um, at this point, might as well upgrade their weapons to full. No point upgrading Archon ground armor. Because they've got 10 health, so. If they're at that point where they're gonna die, they're gonna die. Um. Okay. Probably could use more Corsairs, actually. That was a bad black hole, I think. I think I should have black holed on my on my actual wave. So for maximized DPS. Uh, Covert Banshee. I thought Kaz meant to get that intentionally. Lamau. I thought that was intentional. There we go. Um, let's see, can I stealth my Archons here? Okay, yeah, Archon can get stealthed. Sounds like sure, I'll stealth you. Tanks time! Alright. That's what I've been waiting to hear, to be honest. Um, okay. Let's just uh, put my Void Ray column together here. Holy Void Rays. Okay. We need more laser beams. Uh, maybe more Corsairs. Not even sure, to be honest. And Kolarian's getting beamed down pretty hard, so... All those Immortals are literally walking forward and getting yeeted. So there's that. Sounds like a plan. Uh, so the Corsairs, I think I, I have enough Corsairs, you don't want to have too many Corsairs. Because uh, the Corsairs don't actually end up doing too much, I would say. I don't know, like in terms of damage. Uh, they definitely disable the Colossus pretty nicely, and the Archons are definitely doing a decent job at like... Dropping a little mind control here and there, you know, on like one or two critical units. Um, I think if I had more, they'd be even better, but let's see. When's my next black hole? I should have saved my black hole for a situation like this, to be honest. Uh, tier 4 in 40 seconds. Well, you know it's going to be a good game. There we go. Put another, make this guy stealthed. Sneaky Archon. How much does it do? 24 damage. Man. Oh, oh, base damage. Okay. Big stealth. Drop a scan just in case, because we can see him still. There it is. There it is. That was a good game. Let me drop a GG here. Um, so let's just return to our first void right here. This guy probably had the most health, right? 48 kills. So there's like almost 200. Actually, no. This is 6. is 300, right? 490. Okay. Uh, I think the next one would be these guys. 25. Yeah, well, you know, extra health on the void rays don't hurt. Definitely nothing like... A couple, you know, 700, 700 health or anything, but uh, pretty good. I think Warzone's pretty good. It's just like her her abilities to manipulate the waves and stuff. 
uh, with CC and like other stuff is pretty strong. But definitely not a damage god. Kaz with the 30, 365k. Whew! Dahaka here tanking a lot with those creepers and those hosts. Yeah, so definitely, uh, I guess I brought the CC, Kaz brings the damage, and then Dahaka brought like the endless units of distraction. Yeah, look at that. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed uh, this game, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, what is that? I will see you guys later. The tires. Let's light some fires. Need a light. They picked the wrong fights.